let's pull data from this sheet to another sheet, but only based on certain criteria. We'll create a new sheet here, and we'll call it East. Go back to our original sheet. We have order ID, customer name, product, region, which we only want to see the East region in this East here. So let's first just copy the headers. We want those. If you don't even want to copy it, we can just do equals and then select these headers and then change this to array formula. And there we have all the headers automatically. So we don't need to copy paste that. If it changes, it'll be updated there. So if we change this to total, look over here, it'll be total here. But let's get that data. Let's pull that data. We'll use filter. We're going to use the range here of A2 to F2 we selected, but let's delete that 2 and get the entire F range, A through F, but only the second row. Now we want to filter it by a condition. This is our criteria, and we're going to say the D column, you can even say D2 to D, is equal to, and we'll put in quotes the word East. Let's end the parentheses there, hit enter, and now we have East, and we see only the East. But what if we want to make this sort of programmatic or automatic or like interactive, right? Let's add another row above here and we'll put a drop down menu right there. We'll select drop down menu from a range and the range will be this region column. Let's just say D2 downwards. And here are all the options, east, west, north, and south. Click done. Let's go back here. And if we select east, we want east to show up here. So let's say D1 is now the criteria, D1. Nothing changes because we've already selected East, but let's select West now, and we are now changing all of the data here. We're pulling the data based on this data here. Isn't that cool? And if we have a blank, if we don't have anything, we'll have nothing here. But we can always add if is blank D1, and if it is blank, we'll say select a region in D1, and if it's not blank, we'll actually just go and select it. So now you see, it says select a region in D1, select that region, and now we have the information. Isn't that cool? We've now pulled this data from this sheet into this other sheet based on the criteria of what region it is. You're watching Better Sheets here on YouTube. Make sure you check out this video or this video and subscribe right now to get more tips, tricks, how-tos, get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before. I'm excited to be making a ton more videos here. Ask me questions down in the comments and I will answer them in future videos. But for right now, right here, one of these videos is gonna be your next Google Sheet.